we can see water, we can see fire, we can see smoke, we can even see space. Why can't we see air? Why is air and why is wind invisible? Why can why can we just feel air and wind? Why can we not see it? Once again, great question. Great question. These are questions that go to the heart of science, of understanding the world we inhabit. So yes, you are right. Air is invisible to the human eye. It is invisible because of its physical properties and the way light interacts with it. Okay. So I am in this room here. Obviously, there's air around me, but it's invisible. It's transparent, essentially, right? So why is it transparent? So first, let's understand what is air composed of? What is the composition of air? So air is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen. About 78, 79% nitrogen, about 20, 21% oxygen. And then the, there are small trace amounts of other gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor and argon and whatnot. So that is essentially air, mainly nitrogen and oxygen, little trace amounts of carbon dioxide, water vapor, etc. And these gases are made up of molecules. These molecules are ex obviously extremely small and they are spaced far apart relative to their size. So over here in this, this, this volume between my hands, there's a tremendous amount of air molecules but if you go to the atomic molecular domain then you will see that these are extremely small and they are spaced really far apart compared to the actual size of each molecule okay so very diffuse gases now these molecules of gas in the air they do not absorb visible light significantly so when the light light passes through the air it essentially goes through mostly without being absorbed and without being scattered. So that is one reason why air is transparent and that's why we cannot see it. So absorption, there's almost no absorption of light. Scattering, what about scattering? So air molecules do scatter light, but the scattering is extremely weak. What is the scattering called? It's called Rayleigh scattering, R-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H, Rayleigh scattering. And you can't notice it over here. But you can notice it if you look up into the sky in daytime, you will see that the, the sky is blue. Why is it blue? It's because of Rayleigh scattering. So this phenomenon, Rayleigh scattering, is responsible for the blue color of the sky. It's also responsible for the yellowish, reddish, oranges color of the, uh, orangish color of the sky when the sun is setting far at the horizon. So up there, it's blue. And at the horizon, when the sun is setting or when it's rising, you will see the, sun, the sky is going to be yellowish or radish, reddish or orangish. So that is because of Rayleigh scattering. So light is scattered, but it's scattered very weakly. But it's not enough. The scattering is not enough to make air visible in the way that smoke is visible or fog is visible. So smoke and fog, they scatter way more light than the actual molecules of, of air itself. So the density of air is very low. So compared to a liquid, okay, you're talking about liquids, right? So uh, so when it when it comes to liquids, liquids are much denser than than water uh, than air. Water is much denser than air. Solid substances are much denser than air. So that's why they have different phenomena. And they actually do uh, do become visible. Right? So water is visible because it is a much higher density than air. The water molecules are packed closely together and that allows water molecules to scatter and reflect light much more strongly than air molecules. Smoke is visible because it has solid and liquid particles suspended in air. And these particles are dense and they are numerous enough to scatter and reflect light. Why is fire visible? Why is fire visible? Fire is visible because... Uh, of incandescent particles and gases that are part of the flame and they emit light because of the extremely high temperatures. So these are the reasons why fire and water and other substances are visible, but air is not visible. We obviously do feel the air. One of the reasons we feel air is because of the air, air pressure. There's a tremendous amount of pressure that the, the atmosphere of the planet exerts on us. You standing somewhere, you're going to have a hundred kilometers of air on top of your head. So there's gonna it's going to exert some pressure, right? So there is air pressure and moving air also exerts pressure on your skin and it causes sensations. First of all, because of the 
pressure it causes and also because of the, of the temperature change. So these are the reasons why you sense, you can sense air, you can sense wind, but you can't see it. And that's why air is more or less invisible, except when you see it up high in the sky, when there's a hundred plus kilometers of air between you and uh, and outer space, then you can see it, uh, you can see the color of the air, which is blue or it's yellowish, reddish in the evenings and early mornings.